Yes, hello ladies and gentlemen, it's K-Bear, and I'm back with a little bit of Spire of the Dragon. Uh, this is episode 2, if you could leave a like at the end of the video, I don't want to be a little hasty. Uh, we are going to start with Stonehill, like I told you. Um, now, this level is one of my favorites from the, um, from the Artisan Homeworld. Uh, I used to have a demo disc that played pretty much just this and another level that I'm going to show you a little bit later. But uh, it's a nice easy level, pretty simple, 200 gems and four, is it dragons? Yes it is, indeed four dragons. So we're going to start off by taking out this ram over here. Uh, these ones you can just charge later in the game. Pretty much everything that charges at you, you're going to have to flame to kill. So it gets a little bit rough trying to time it right. Now these, you can't flame because they're metal, so you gotta charge these down. And they aren't the only metallic uh, chests that are in the game, but the later ones are definitely a lot easier to break through because of different reasons I'll show you when I get to them, but we just rescued Lindar, so let's see what he has to say. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. <laughs> of course not. Kind of. There are times when uh, trouble will be run into, and uh, I'm definitely going to need that uh, safety net of the um, of the save dragon thing spot. My fingers. So let's free him. And uh, this is Gavin, and let's see what he's got to say to me. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. So, you know. You you can you you've seen, I think, uh blue sparks. Now this is a locked chest thingy crate that we can't open until we get a key. I'm sure you saw the uh, keyhole. So we're gonna have to keep traveling around this level. Here's another ram. I'm gonna collect these gems before I smash them. Oh, okay. <laughs> But a few more. Actually, I can I can come back to get that one because we still have to check that side. But we're gonna take this tunnel and we're gonna come out over here, a little bit bigger of a field, and uh, we're gonna have some some more rams, and we're gonna have a couple of these guys. These are shepherds who will swing their axe at you. Oh, he got me. He got me good. Ah oh, man. All right. Well, I'll just get some of the fodder and I'll get a butterfly. And then Sparks will be back to gold, so that's basically the only way to heal um, Sparks. Uh, they won't always be but, uh, cheap, uh, you'll see that soon. But, uh, so you, you just, I don't know what I was talking about. Ah, oh well, that's a shame. So now we're going to take up, I've never seen the sheep go in this building, that's weird. We got another dragon right here. Let's free him and see what the Gildas has to say. Spyro, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. That dragon does not look like his wings can support him, so I don't know if I should be taking lessons from him on how to glide. But I guess it's whatever, so we'll glide out onto here. Gotta make sure I don't fall out that way, because uh, I'll die. Collect these gems. Uh, up here you're going to see a fellow in blue. He's what we like to call an egg thief, and they have a bunch of these throughout the game. All you got to do is chase them down, and then you get your egg back. And it, it get more difficult as uh, the game progresses, clearly. I don't know why they would get easier. And... Uh, they're they're not they're ne they never get too bad. Just uh, I'm just going around and checking for gems, and I see that I missed some because I could have easily gotten those earlier. <sighs> but we don't want to miss any gems because we know how I act when we miss gems, and I just I cannot stop talking about how those gems need to be found, and and I won't talk about anything else. So hopefully we can collect all of them right now. Sitting at a nice 127. We got a little bit more to go, clearly. But, uh, ooh, I've never seen this before. Hmm, huh, that's interesting. All of these twos. We still have to find that key. Just remembered that. Mm, it's a good thing that we got a few more places to check. 
Okay, now time to run around out here. Should be something out here. Maybe a red one right here, or just beyond it in this. Yep, okay. There should be a couple more somewhere. Come on, don't, don't, don't fool me. Don't be playing. Okay, all right. I see you. Three more. All right. So I think we're good up there. Hopefully, I don't want to have to run back up there because you guys saw how long it took for me to get over that point, and I do not have time to waste. We're gonna charge in here, and there's a ram. Let's get him. And look at this, another life. Oh, really gonna enjoy collecting that. That'll make six. Still have a lot more to go till I uh, hit any of my my records. I believe my record's at about 14, and we just uh, freed Aster, so let's see what he's got to say. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Oh man, I am very disappointed in myself for not remembering the Vampire Weekend lyric that features the word Aster. Sure, I'll get yelled at for that by somebody. But anyway, we're gonna find the key. That's what we like to see. And we're gonna break a few more of these. Oh man, we're getting down to the wire. I'm not sure if that chest is gonna hold. Oh, okay, hold on. We got a few more out here. Ooh, what are the odds that that chest on the inside holds 12 gems? I, I really hope it does because I am getting sick and tired of all this charging. I'm, I'm sorry that I always charge, but uh, it, it's a lot easier for me to speed through the game. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh yes, it's easy. It's too easy. All 200 gems. All four dragons, yes, and the egg. And you guys know what that means. That means it's time to get out of here. Actually, I might not have known that, but that's what happens. That's another 200 treasure. Oh, uh, bringing our turtle up to 300 now. We have to free 10 dragons to um, go to the next world. And so far we're at eight, is that what that said? Yeah, eight, so we only need to free two more, but I personally would like to tackle the other levels. Uh, you saw Home Square out that way, and then we still have to take on the boss, which uh, you guys will see that that is not a very difficult battle at all. So here is a level called Dark Hollow, and this is the other level that was on that uh, demo disc. And uh, I, uh, it's, a, it's not a bad level by any means, uh, smaller than Stone Hill, which, you know, of course I'm gonna like. So we're gonna charge right on out here and take this guy out. Now here's something you gotta know. Oh wait, oh wow. I'm surprised that worked because the guys with the shields, you gotta think, why is the fire taking them out? There's a guy right up, hold on. All right, you see, taking a gander straight ahead. That dragon will tell me that I cannot flame metal guys. And I just did it twice. All right, so let's take this guy out. This is a guy that you have to flame because he's too big to take down with a charge. There we go. See how the flame isn't, isn't going through the shield? And then I take them both out with a charge. Let's get a few more gems. And then we free the dragon. As you saw, there was the, uh, the chest with the key that we need to find still. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. But apparently sometimes a fire attack works if you, if you get them at the right time and their shield's not down properly, whatever. Anyway, what I was saying with the sheep is sometimes other animals are fodder. I, I already realized that I must have taken one out with that butterfly floating around. But it's not always going to be sheep. Sometimes it'll be a uh, bunny rabbit. Sometimes it'll be bats in one level. It, it all depends on uh, your surroundings and what, what animal fits that particular environment. Uh, in this case, I feel like frogs do a much better job than sheep. So props to the development team, I guess. I could care less what I used to get life back, but here's Oswin. Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Because it's not like I've been doing that the whole time. And we have hit our ten dragons to uh, unlock the next home world, but we're not we're not we're not gonna head out just yet. We're gonna drop down here, and here's that key that we were searching for a little bit. It's good to have that on us now because uh, we can go right back and collect the rest of those gems. Now we're in the front of the level, and we can head toward the exit. 
that might do it for this episode. We'll see you on time. But, uh, recording this bad boy at about 2 in the morning, so I'm kind of tired. Had a, had a nice day. Made a slip and slide. It was a blast. I'm not going to lie. I'm sure somebody who was there is going to be watching this video. Didn't expect it to be as much fun as it was, so props to them for making it a good time. Alright, so... Heading up here, we got two more of these guys. Alright, got them both, and then we'll glide over here and get another life. Oh, it's up to seven. Oh, we are trucking. We are trucking on our way to more lives. I actually have to glide over to the other side from where I just was so that I can collect this two, this twofer, which is pretty much useless. But uh, we're at 73, we need 27 more, and I do know that in the very back near the end is there's going to be six so hopefully we can get up until there right here and i do believe i have not used that key yet am i correct nope still have it so i'm silly and i waste time and i mean i could have already been over here and gotten this and been closer to being done with level but what are you gonna do sometimes sometimes you just gotta you just gotta take it slow and i think i'm gonna walk the rest of this level out instead of charging just to just to to, to keep a little bit more sound going you can uh, see some some spyro in his like natural walking state i know i don't do that much it's just because charging just just feels so much better unless you're trying to like get to a get to an edge like carefully charging is just it just does such a such a good job oh my gosh can't even talk right now i'm so tired go one more dragon this is darius big enemies like this gnork with the club cannot be charged oh wow thanks but a quick flame that should defeat them that totally helps me at the very end of the level when i have six gems left to collect and here they are oh it feels nice to have all six. Oh, so we're gonna head back to the artisan world with our next 100 gems we're up to 400 we're up to 11 dragons i believe and that's about eight percent of the way done in this game top right corner you can see that right there there's a lot more eggs to collect that looks like 10, 11 2 4 6 8 10 to 11 more to collect that's gonna be a blast so we're gonna take down some of these guys hopefully no i'm not gonna have enough of these orb looking thingies to to get another life which uh, would be nice but I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll see, I'll humor myself and I'll see what I can get. I can get close, but close, close isn't good enough for me. So we're just going to head up to uh, the next level that we're going to tackle. Uh, uh, you saw it in the uh, first episode. Uh, it's called Home Square, I believe. Wow, it's going to be really bad if I don't remember what it's called. Oh wait, there was, there was an eighth life right there that I just collected somehow. I don't know how that's possible. Okay, well... Maybe it has to do with killing all of the bad guys in a level. I actually have never tried that, so... Anyway, here we are at Town Square. I think I did get that right. And this is going to be a little bit longer of level, but it's okay because we have a shorter level in the boss level. To go still. But uh, that'll do it for this episode of Spire the Dragon. If you liked the video, I said this earlier, please leave a like. It'll let me know that I'm not doing the worst job that I could be. And that means a lot to me. If you haven't subbed yet, do so. Leave a smiley face in the comments. Make it a bracket one, not just a uh, an end parenthesis. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.